Good morning and happy new year. Today, I'm just gonna be taking you along with a what I eat in the day, um, really focusing on being in the calorie deficit and then just kind of showing you what, you know, staying at home looks like in my eating. Um, this morning, it is almost 11. I just got done working out and taking a shower. I haven't eaten anything yet because I had to get my daughter off to school. So um, I just cooked up some sweet potatoes because I didn't, I ate all of my prep to yesterday. And so I'm going to eat that as my first meal with some um, broccoli and kale that I'm gonna steam up. So I will show you what that looks like when it is all done. And when I'm steaming kale, I always just add it in when there's about one or two minutes left for my other veggies steaming. That way they don't get too like wilty. Today I am going to be um, starting some more sprouts. So right now I'm just measuring out two tablespoons of alfalfa and broccoli seeds, and I'm gonna soak them overnight in the fridge. If you guys want me to do a video on sprouts, let me know. And I am alternating between doing a London fog in the morning and a matcha tea in the morning. And for the matcha, I just kind of watched a bunch of YouTube videos to figure out how to make them and so I have like a little kit with a whisk and then I do use um, one of those little frother things at the very end but I love a matcha. It is lunchtime and I'm going to cut up some potatoes and then um, boil them and make lunch with some beans and a salad. And I will show you what that looks like. I made these beans in the Instapot this week and then I put them on the stove with some broth and some salt-free like taco seasoning. And so I've just been putting these on my sweet potatoes and potatoes and um, using salsa or hot sauce on top of them. And they're really good. And it just kind of gives you that resistant starch and then a little bit more protein. So. I am trying to add as many greens as I can right now to my diet um, because I am on blood thinners and you're supposed to keep your greens consistent. I am trying to do this with sprouts because they are supposed to be extra nutrient dense. And then um, I like to do a quick pickle on my red onions. So I just really submerge it in white distilled vinegar and leave it in the fridge overnight and then kind of eat off of it for the rest of however long it lasts. And it's, it's delicious. And I use lighthouse dressings right now. Um, they are lower in fat content, lower in oil and lower in calories. Some of them have a little higher sodium like this one, but they're all delicious.
throw these mushrooms in my air fryer and I always de-stem them first. For whatever reason, the stems are hard for me to digest, so I'm just gonna put these in for five minutes. I have been chopping up my veggies that I'm going to be eating with rice lately. When I do a half and half plate, I don't always eat all of my veggies and then sometimes I will overeat on my starches. And so I am being focused on being in a calorie deficit. So mixing them all together kind of helps me with that. It kind of just gives me all of the volume, but I know I'm gonna be getting so many veggies in there with it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got a little bit of inspiration and just some easy meals that you can follow, um, especially for like maximum weight loss on the starch solution. And just follow along. I'm gonna be doing some more videos on trying to be in a calorie deficit and sharing what I'm eating throughout the day. So I will see you in the next video. Like and subscribe. And then also find me on Instagram under a thriving lively.